Right, welcome back to N2 Electrical Trade Theory. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at question seven in our preparation for the national exam paper. Don't forget to hit that like button to share these videos. And if you wanna show your appreciation for this YouTube channel, you can watch those adverts from start to finish. Now in part one of question seven, draw a fully labeled circuit diagram of a capacitor start induction run motor. Now it's important to note that in this diagram, there is only one capacitor. So the main parts of this diagram, this is a single phase motor. It consists of a start capacitor, a start winding and a run winding, a central fugal switch, and then the rotor, which is the rotating part. At the moment of start, the central fugal switch is closed. Current passes through the start capacitor and the start winding. A phase shift is developed and a phase angle is created between the run winding and start winding. As the rotor reaches around about 80%, the centrifugal switch will cut out. And this is a very popular diagram in the national exam paper. Make sure you're able to know the main parts and to draw the circuit diagram. In part two of question seven, name four electrical tests that are conducted on the stator of a three phase induction motor. So for testing the insulation of each stator winding, we use a mega. We set the mega to about 500 volts DC. We hit the test button and a good reading should indicate above one mega ohm. So the four tests are the insulation resistance test between windings, the insulation resistance test between windings and earth, the earth continuity test, the open and short circuit test. Right, thanks for watching this video. We only have one video left for this series, and then we'll be done for our preparation for N2 electrical trade theory. Thank you.